guys, it's Katie from Team Lucky Little Learners, and this week we're diving into an engaging idea for your classroom, making your own crossword puzzles. Join me as we see how crossword puzzles can enhance education and learn about a brand new tool that allows you to create your own crossword puzzles on any topic you wish. As primary teachers, we know we need a variety of activities to keep our little ones engaged. Many teachers do a quick Google search for a word search or crossword puzzle to fit their topic needs. Oftentimes, the search results are lacking. They can be less than visually appealing or not very user-friendly. Our team has come up with a solution to this issue, a customizable crossword maker tool. And I cannot wait to show you, plus give you tons of ideas for how you can use crossword puzzles in your classroom. And a bonus tip at the end of this video. Let's dive in. Let's create a puzzle together. To start, head to All Access. On the top menu, you will see this Create Your Own button. There are actually four Create Your Own tools that are included with an All Access membership. These are a Word Search Maker, Crossword Puzzle Maker, Math Facts Sheet Maker, and a Spelling List tool. Today, we will focus on the Crossword Maker. I'm going to create a puzzle to review nouns and verbs with my class. I want to see which of my students can tell me what nouns are versus verbs. To create the crossword puzzle, you will need to title it and then put in your words, comma, and a clue and separate each word and clue by a line. Once you have all the clues in, you're going to click create and it will generate a crossword puzzle for you and an answer key. When you print it out, you're going to notice it's visually appealing and students will have an easy time reading the clues. There is also a word bank at the bottom. On this particular puzzle, I had my students solve for the nouns and verbs with the clues and then also highlight the nouns and verbs each with a different color to show me they understood which was which. Here are some other academic ideas for crossword puzzles. Start with vocabulary practice. Yes, you could do your routine vocab words that go with your reading curriculum or branch out a little bit. Try it with your math vocab, social or science vocab. Another use is weekly phonics practice. Have students practice their weekly words in a crossword puzzle format. This makes students think about each letter as they write it. And crosswords can be a huge add-in to your social and science curriculum. Let's take a peek. Try these social and science ideas. Animals and habitats, continents, community helpers, historical figures, or American symbols. Okay, enough academic talk. Here are some just for fun ways to incorporate crossword puzzles into your classroom. Some just for fun ways I've used crossword puzzles in my classroom are to review the weekly theme, more on that in a second, for seasonal or holiday reasons, to tell jokes, or even just to get to know my class. Like I mentioned earlier, I do a theme a week. I try to tie it in with whatever my reading curriculum story of the week is, and this week that story has to do with spiders, so I pulled in all the spider resources I could. This will also tack off some science standards as well. My students are always very excited to see what the next week's theme is. I may have to tell you more about this in another video. Some seasonal crossword ideas, the four seasons, holidays, even think of those wacky fun holidays, student birthdays, school events, anything else you can think of. I like to throw in some jokes and riddles crosswords once in a while because who doesn't love dad jokes? This next tip is a great beginning of the school year idea. Do a get to know your class crossword where you have each student come up to your desk and whisper a fun fact or write one down for you. I did one with our team, Lucky Little Learners, and let me tell you, we had some laughs and got to know each other a little better. Like I promised at the beginning of this video, I have a bonus crossword creation tip to share, and this is amazing. For this tip, you need a free ChatGPT account. I put in write 10 words with clues for a crossword puzzle about back to school for second graders. It puts in the words and the clues. I said rewrite at a second grade reading level. And, and then I also tried rewriting at a first grade reading level just to see what I liked the best. I went with second grade, copied and pasted it into the crossword generator. Then I need to go through and add commas instead of colons, but that is nothing compared to the time I'm saving not having to come up with my own words and clues. And voila, there it is. You can find the link to the crossword creation tool in the description of this video. Click now and start your crossword creation fun. Until next week, happy teaching. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to catch our videos every week.